We already got our ring. We won. I don't. We don't care. I don't care no more. I don't know about my teammates, but I don't care. Cause we know. I know who we are. I know we yeah. raw. We, I know we that shit. <laughs> Outside of the county, you pretty much go by. Um, but, you know, I mean, the kids that I had on that team that year, uh, basically, I could say a bunch of journeymen. Um, you know, I mean, kids that people really didn't count on. Um, you know, didn't think we could get it done. Um, you know, some kids that had been here for four years, some kids that had just got here. And, you know, we, we just talked about that. We, like, you know, this is our moment. You know, this is what we practice for. This is what we been preparing for us since day one. Um, you know, told a couple of kids, you know, you, you decided to come here, you know, this is, this is what you, know, you vision, this is what you do. Uh, and it was just, I think it was wild to do that. Bobby O2 was the final four. Who was the driving force behind that final four? Oh, hands down. Uh, Five foot three point guard, Shannon Lodge. Um, just a floor general, a leader, a competitor. Uh, she just refused to lose that night. Uh, she's been here since her freshman year. Uh, something that she's still If we had said we wanted to do from the get go, she didn't let them take any time off. She didn't let me take any time off. Uh, and, you know, once you get one kid out there, you know, it's lead by example. Everybody was small. And she was that kind of kid. No matter how small she was, but she got up into our biggest kid. You know, and if you need to, you know, she was a tremendous defensive player. And I just think, you know, her defense carried over to everybody else's defense. Really defensively, but like, pretty much carried us to the final four. Best game we played all season long. We got the victory at the end and elevated us to our first final four. You know, the full man, our first time in school history, we just picked up that part. What was the mentality after that first loss? Kind of rough. Um, on one hand, and then you know we weren't expected to be there anyway. No one, no one thought we'd make it that far. Um, 
except for us. You know, that, that was our goal. That's our goal every year. Uh, basically, I think that year our goal was to get there. Uh, we never talked about winning anything. We were just taking it one game at a time. And then after that loss, you know, the returners were, were devastated. I mean, you know, dream season came to an end. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm coming back saying, you know, let's take some time off. So our bodies recuperate. Let's get rested. Um, we didn't win. And that was really heartbreaking. But the following year, we had some freshmen come in. And they helped out, like, they helped out, like, a lot. Um, it was like, you know, we got a taste of it. Uh, there's no time off. There's no days off. And they were ready to get back in the gym. You know, a lot of stuff transpired over the summer. Uh, we ended up losing one of our kids uh, that was a big part of us making it to the Final Four. Um, she ended up transferring to Armwood. In May, uh, our starting point guard, Shannon, ended up tearing her ACL. Um, so that, that, was, that, was, that was a big blow. Then all of a sudden, I got a phone call uh, from admin saying, hey, you know, we got these two kids that are trying to enroll here, uh, Maya Evans and Janiah Barker. But the challenge is just going to be uh, getting them to connect with what was already here. The problem was we were still without a point guard. Uh, so you know, I mean, you know, we, we always want to make something happen. Kenesha uh, Garfield is a, a two-way player, uh, definitely a great defender. And you know, that was a plan going into the season. You know, hey, you know, Kenesha will be our point, and you know, we'll just fill everybody else in. And then uh, we end up getting a transfer, Jasmine Peets. Mom had moved here to Tampa. Um, and then, you know, once we, we got that word that she was coming as our point guard, uh, the rest was history. Yeah, Winter Haven, winning the state championship is the only thing. I mean, we come, they're, they're breeded that way. When you come in the door, you know that's what we're working for. So uh, we lost it in dramatic fashion by one point. And I can tell you right now, this will be the third set of starters that we have, starting lineup that we have. But I can guarantee you that uh, state championship we're, we're trying to get. Here. Played three times, state defending champions, winning Haven. And when I got the opportunity to play in the Thanksgiving shootout at, at uh, Brooks Barlow, uh, one of the teams that was on there was Winter Haven. And, uh, Coach Maggie asked me, you know, hey, you know, who do y'all want to play? And uh, of course I said, you know, Winter Haven. Basically, her response was, you know, well, that's already said. Yeah. We knew practicing the stuff that we had to be prepared for because they were the team known. They, what would they, they want states like each time. And we knew no matter what, we was gonna beat them. We had to make a statement for ourselves. And a lot of people were down on us and stuff, but we had to make sure that we, you know, stuck as a team because uh, we it was a very hostile environment going in and playing that game. And a lot of times we just, we were just talking about a lot of we can't go in and stare. It was up and down, up, up and down the court, fast paced game. Uh, you know, both teams were really going at it. Um, we just came out in the second half, and we did a lot of things different than we did in the first half. Uh, we were able to take the lead and, and hold on to the lead, even though the pressure was still being applied to us. <laughs> You know, we, we come into this game, we were 2-0. You know, we just beat Winter Haven, uh, just knocked off Seth and Christian, uh, two, two, definitely two state powerhouses. 
Uh, and then we had to come back and play Platt, who's, who's, who's another rising uh, powerhouse. Both teams really came out flat. We were just coming off the win from Winter Haven, so we were still on cloud nine and stuff like that. Like, we just beat the defending state champions. We gave them their best shot. They gave us, uh, they gave us their best shot. Uh, and, you know, the results just, just didn't come out of our favor. But to be honest, I think that we didn't lose to Plant. We lost to Tampa Bay Tech. I guess because it was the first game, everybody was nervous, first home game, so everyone was so many mistakes in that game. The bounce back was real because, like, they didn't want to feel that feeling no more. They was like, damn, that, that game wasn't it. You know, we got to step it up. We should have lost to them. What did you guys do differently, uh, mindset-wise? Oh, first we had to talk. We all had to talk. We was like, okay. Uh, it, this is not what state championship, state champs look like. look like. So we had to even practice was different. After that loss, practice was different. Our talks to each other was different. Everything, every, our mindset was just different. It was like we got all this weight on our shoulders. So now it's time for us to lift it up and play our part. And that was um, us playing how we did against Plant Longo. You, know, you come off emotional victories like that, like the previous two. Uh, we needed to be brought back down to earth. Uh, and, you know, Plant came here and they did it to us. 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 Did Said we were, we were way out of our league, playing against my new country day. That, that stuff kind of fueled us that we could practice. And we were just able to focus on, on the task at hand. Uh, you know, got to the locker room, kids got dressed, and they just came together. I mean, they talked about, you know, what they needed to do. That's probably the first time that season that I had seen them as focused as they were. We knew they were like, no jokes. So we really had to take that game seriously. You know, we, we kind of took it to them. I mean, Janiyah played, you know, I mean, Tonight played really, really good. Uh, Maya, uh, they really control down low. Let's go, go! Well, the beginning of the game, we was up the whole game. We was up the whole game, but at the end, we just started making a couple mistakes. Uh, from Berkeley, the USF was making her shots. I want to say it was like we just we just kind of broke down. We get up on these things. It was like a close game to hold you. We kept, it was like up and down, kind of. We kind of, we kind of start turning the ball. Pressure started getting to us. Miami Pitch didn't end up coming back and taking the lead. And I just remember we came down and she got hit a big three in the corner uh, to bring us to bring us within two. Uh, and they went down, you know, we fouled them and they ended up missing three throws and uh, we got back in the game and we were, I think the game we went by, I want to say they were up by one. And uh, we went to free throw line. And uh, Jasmine was shooting free throws and she missed. I think the front end of a one and one, and um, Janaya got the rebound and a turnaround jump shot. with probably about 15 seconds left in the clock. And, uh, bucket was good, and we went up by, we went up in by one point and was able to hold on, hold on for the victory. Did you guys at that moment knew y'all were the top 25 team? Yeah. Y'all always knew before. It was like that, but when we beat Winter Haven, though, we felt like we felt like. No, I could touch when we've been winning. We, we felt like we was sticks back then. But when we beat Michael today, that really hit us in the head. They blew our heads up, but really we, we knew how to like not make it seem like we weren't. Yeah, it confident. really hit us like when we won. That was like, dang, we really can be. We really something. can do this. We really can win this win. It really like it motivated us honestly to know that we can we can actually win it all. So like we just kept working and we knew that like.
they treated this gesture just like it was any other day. They didn't want to cut the nets down. They didn't want to do anything. They just were ready to come in and, and, and get ready for that next round of rebound. Uh, Jade was a senior that ended up coming to us after Hurricane Michael hit the Panhandle area. Um, she was able to come in, a uh, military kid, you know, uh, needed some place to go. Um, so they came down to Tampa and we were able to get her in, um, I think, uh, October or something like that. Um, right after Hurricane hit. You could tell that they, um, she loved the game of basketball. Um, she just had to find her way to fit in with, with that group of kids, especially being brand new. And, you know, missing fall league and missing conditioning and all that stuff that we put them through. Um, but I think, I think she hit her groove uh, around the midway, uh, right, right around that time, right after Christmas break. Um, she had to step up and she had to step in and, and do some things that at that point she wasn't comfortable doing. Uh, she, was, she was coming up the bench, she was our sixth man. Uh, played a lot of key moments, uh, but just her confidence, you can tell her confidence just wasn't there uh, in certain things. After that midway point, I mean, it just, she just blossomed. Uh, definitely, definitely a good addition. Uh, someone that helped us meet that ultimate goal. That ultimate goal. Uh, we kind of already knew we were going to play um, Raid River uh, with uh, Omari and Gordon. And the uh, girls were kind of excited about that. Uh, definitely a big challenge ahead. We knew what she could do. Uh, they knew her from the AD circuit. So, I mean, that night it was over there, they were kind of loud. I mean, just ridiculously loud. Felt like a college atmosphere. Honestly, when I see like crowds like that that talk trash and stuff, I just laugh because it's like it's like motivating me. I just feel it wrong after that. So like. Team by team, we outmatch them because uh, they really have just her and they have another kid. But when it, when it was all said and done, um, you had 17, 18, 16, 17, I think 12 from our starting five. And, you know, we just knew one kid wasn't going to beat five kids, uh, including the kids from the field. You know what I'm saying? So when I mean by us and, and our parents and stuff like that, we the only ones believe in this hill. 
You know what I'm saying? We the only one believes. Just like it's a bucket in here. He don't. He believe in this shit. Show no dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 here for nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's a reason why he did the videos and stuff. It's a reason why he do it on the girl. It's a reason why he here. You know what I'm saying? Cause we got something special going on, alright? So just know, respect ain't there. So it's cool though. You know what I'm saying? Cause Saturday, Saturday come around. Y'all know the routine. So when they come to gym, we get our hand, back hand, what we do? We snap the shit out of them. Y'all that flow. We got that flow, we snap the shit out of them. All right? As soon as they pass y'all the flow, got them and me and Ty and, 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 and Big Ron, we going to them to, let's go, break it in. One more thing about respect, all right? I go out to Lakeland today to pick up the packet, the coaching packet. So it's a little, you know, a couple of, of, of a lady and two men sitting there. So they're like, what's cool? I said, Tampa Bay Tech. Like, oh, you know, when y'all play? I said, Friday at 2. They're like, oh, y'all y'all the big class. I'm like, oh. It was like, okay, okay. So then they started talking. He asked me how many people on my team. I said, we got 10. So they're like, oh, man, we just watched Miami Country. They play, and they got 15 kids. And I was like, yeah, I said, oh, we played them. His first question out of his mouth was, dang, how much they beat y'all by? Ooh. I gave him one of these. They didn't. <laughs> 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 So he looked and he was like, huh? I said, they didn't. He was like, oh, y'all are the team that beat them. Yeah. I was like, yes, we are. And I said, everybody keep forgetting about that. Nobody want to talk about it. So I he was like, Rainy River, they, they ranked, you know, well. I love y'all. I'm trying to Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's three. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. The work that, that we have put in as a team uh, all year long uh, just to get us to that point. Uh, coach staff was a big part of, of that. Uh, Reggie Evans was amazing. Um, it's not. It's not. It's not always that simple, or or that often that an NBA great can actually come in and and work with your work with your team. Um, and and he, first thing he told me was like, "Look, I just want to train them. I don't want no credit. I don't want my name put in nothing." But I mean, he has to get credit that, that, that's due for the amount of attention to details and stuff that they, he taught them and taught me. Um, a lot of stuff, you know, especially being in the NBA, that they did that we were able to pass over to the girls and just, uh, just not, not just the athletic side of, of the game, but the mental side. Um, and I mean, you know, the, he was really, really a big part of, of us getting over that hump. Um, and, you know, I mean, he's definitely one that, that I appreciate that, and I think the girls really appreciate it too. Yeah, I man. Is this sports for? No. I'm in We're not gonna start the practice off like that. All right, get in here. Champions on three. One, two, three. Champions. Let's go, y'all. Hey, let's go. Nice. Um, uh, tomorrow is PM. Um, we have Barton Trail um, High School. Uh, we've checked out some film. We're looking to see what they got. Uh, the matchup will be. I mean, we, you know, we run a variety of things. Uh, full court, uh, half court. Um, you know, we're not gonna put the secret out. What we're gonna do? We got a secret weapon. Uh, but you know, we just gonna we just gonna do what we do. Uh, make them play our game. Uh, try not to play theirs. Uh, try to force them to do things they're not comfortable with.
Um, my spins come off last year. It's been rough, actually. You know, from the injury. And us not winning last year and come back this year trying to bounce back. I think we got it this year. With the group of girls we got. We all more focused. We all got the same goal, trying to win the state. What has been uh, your role this year on the team? Just, just motivating them, getting in their head. You know, we got a younger team. It's only like three seniors. So me being older and got and more wiser, I'm putting my um, leadership and just trying to help them and like being a motivation to them. So that I know that I'm not going to be able to play. Got to stay in their head and make sure they, they're ready for the next level. Get it up, get it up. Y'all ain't ready! Shit! Y'all ain't ready! Shit! Y'all ain't ready! Shit! Y'all ain't ready! Shit! We already lost it last year. What was your mindset coming in? Like, we got it in the game? Like... That we weren't going to lose it again. And that everybody needs to be on the same page so we can all achieve this one goal together. Um, I know I had the mindset of like I wanted to win it all, but I know they wanted it just as bad as I wanted it. So, uh, so we treated it just like a regular season game. The girls came to school that morning, signed them out early. We got up, we left, we got in the van, we left, went to Lakeland. Uh, in enough time, we get dressed and get ready for the game. 
uh, just like they would do in the regular season game. We started off in the first quarter, we started off ready. We came out knowing if we took care of the first half, then it's going to be done. It's just going to, you know, fall back. You know, we had to start off and we had to be the first to punch it. And then the second quarter, we kind of, you know, fell back, but no, we went back in the locker room, we got back to it, and we went on our game plan to get up on defense, lock them up. Play our best basketball, uh, but we, we still came out with the victory. You got one last game, uh, state championship. How do you guys approach this game? We got to come out better than we did before. Our defensive rotation has to be better. Play more as a team. Yeah, communication was okay this game, but it, it could, could be definitely, better. Yeah. It could definitely be better. We just gotta lock in throughout the whole game. Like it can't be game, ups and can't downs. It gotta be consistent. Always up. Thomas Queens is, is, I know in football, they're one of the big dogs. Basketball, I've been hearing about them. I uh, got, got, got a chance to catch a few of their games online. And I mean, they they they, they really, really good team. Uh, matched up with us very, very well. Size, speed, all that. So yeah, I know, I know it was going to be a, a tough game. Uh, had our talk in the locker room. Girls came out. It really was a back and forth game. I don't think nobody ever got a lead over the four on either side the whole time. It's either tied, two, they went by two. Uh, we just kept going back and forth. Tying the game up. It had the ball with about 10 seconds left on the clock, I believe. And 
be able to get a shot off and we missed the shot. We got a clean look, we thought it was good, it looked good at the time uh, by Mike, uh, but it is it's right on the end of the night. But to actually have to go to overtime, I think that's where the mental part, because um, those kids just never gave up. 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 Basically, we got another chance. Um, you know, we got another quarter or another three minutes to play. Uh, let's just go out there and let's just continue doing what we're doing. Uh, we've taken their best punch. Uh, they're ready to give up. Our defense, our defense in that overtime period was just unbelievable. Uh, the, way, the way we rotated, the way we moved, the way we boxed out, uh, the way we closed out on them, uh, just not to give up open shots uh, was just amazing. And it was, once again, it was back to, to those practices and those workouts and all that stuff that we had done starting at the beginning of the year, uh, throughout the year and even, even at the end of the year. I know a lot of teams kind of, you know, don't work as hard at the end of the year. Um, because you know, you're trying to save your legs, um, but we didn't. I mean, we pushed those girls up to the limit for this kind of situation, and it paid off. So it felt like I won. You know, my daughter won it, so I was excited. I was excited for her to see her hard work. We finally did it, and then we did it together. It has lifted her through the whole thing. Just, we've been through so much. Like, to finally get there, we get that feeling like, you know, I was just overwhelmed. It was unbelievable. Uh, first thing I did was like, I looked back at, at, at the girls, and the first person I saw was Shannon. And once the girls saw her, they started crying. It was just, it was, it was, it was, it was tough. It was, it was really, really emotional. Tournament uh, in, in New York at least once or twice. 